Ever wondered why understanding the concept of sampling distribution is crucial in the world of machine learning? Well, the importance of this concept cannot be overstated. It's a cornerstone of statistics, the backbone of machine learning, and a must-know for anyone looking to excel in computer science. It helps us understand the behavior of estimates, enabling us to make accurate predictions and inform decisions. So, are you ready to delve deeper? Dive in with us as we unravel the concept of sampling distribution and its critical role in machine learning. Scene script, sampling distribution, a term that might sound complex, but in reality, it's a fundamental concept in statistics and machine learning. Imagine you're a botanist studying a rare species of flower that grows only in a specific remote region. You can't possibly examine every single flower, so you take a sample, a small manageable selection of flowers. You measure their characteristics, petal length, color intensity, and so on. Now, if you were to repeat this process, taking multiple samples, you'd end up with a variety of results. This is where the sampling distribution comes into play. It's the probability distribution of a statistic based on a random sample. In more technical terms, a sampling distribution is the distribution of a given statistic, calculated from repeated sampling. Each sample is a subset of your population, in this case, the entire field of flowers. The shape of the sampling distribution depends on the statistic you're measuring, the size of your sample, and the size of your population. You might be wondering how this applies to machine learning. Well, machine learning algorithms often work with large data sets, populations if you will. But to train these algorithms, we often use subsets of these data sets, samples. The sampling distribution helps us understand how our estimators or predictions will vary based on these samples. Take for example a machine learning model trying to predict house prices. The model might be trained on a sample of a few hundred houses from a city. The mean price of these houses is an estimator of the population mean. If we took multiple samples, each would give a slightly different mean price. The distribution of these means is the sampling distribution of the mean price. But here's the kicker. The larger the sample size, the closer the sampling distribution gets to a normal distribution, regardless of the shape of the population distribution. This phenomenon is known as the central limit theorem, a fundamental principle in statistics. In essence, the sampling distribution provides a means to study the variability and accuracy of an estimator. Now that we know what sampling distribution is, how does it fit into the machine learning puzzle? Let's dive into that. Sampling distribution plays a crucial role in the world of machine learning. It's the backbone of understanding the behavior of machine learning models. Think about it this way. When we build a machine learning model, we're essentially creating a hypothesis about the underlying structure of the data. That hypothesis is based on a sample from the larger population of data. Hence, knowing the sampling distribution helps us understand how different our hypothesis could be if we had chosen a different sample. This becomes particularly important when it comes to model evaluation and validation. By understanding the sampling distribution, we can gauge how well our model will perform not just on our sample, but on the entire population. It provides us with a measure of uncertainty about our model's predictions. Moreover, it lends a hand in understanding the bias-variance trade-off. Bias refers to the error in our model's predictions due to oversimplification, while variance refers to the error due to overfitting. Sampling distribution helps us strike a balance between these two, thereby improving the performance of our models. Sampling distribution thus is an indispensable tool in the machine learning toolbox, enabling us to make informed decisions about our models. As we wrap up, let's quickly recap the main points we've covered. We started by demystifying the concept of sampling distribution, a fundamental statistical principle that tracks the possible outcomes of a statistic over all possible samples from a population. We explored how it provides a snapshot of the variability and uncertainty inherent in the data we work with. Then, we dove into the role of sampling distribution in machine learning. We discovered how it helps us understand the behavior of estimators, the tools we use to make predictions or inferences from our data. By giving us a window into the estimator's variability, the sampling distribution can guide us in selecting the best estimator for our task, thereby improving the accuracy of our machine learning models. Remember, understanding the sampling distribution isn't just a nice-to-have, it's a must-have for anyone serious about mastering machine learning.